It. What? No! No! What no, is no, this no, no, dark no. sorcery? Brute! Back, foul demon! Jeez! Uh... I am... Whoa! Brute. Hey! This is not normal! Get behind me! I will protect you from this monstrosity! Hey, easy! You mind not breaking my face? I'm sorry, I panicked. How are you... Yeah, so, uh... I guess I was dead, and now uh, apparently I'm not. This is impossible. Impossible is one thing. This? <laughs> this is freaky. How do we know you are really Peter Quill? Prove it to me. What do you expect him to do? If he is really Peter Quill, he will know. Oh, come on, buddy. You know me. We, uh, we shared a drink. Or whatever that disgusting liquid was. Back on nowhere. Come on. You remember? <laughs> Your face. You were choking. <laughs> oh, how we laughed. Okay, great. Everybody calm now, huh? We cool? No! I am Groot. He's right. The dead don't just come back. There's gotta be a catch. I mean, this is insane. You see that, don't okay, you? Okay, Rocket, just... Everything comes at a cost. We just don't know what it is yet. Until then, this thing is just a ticking time bomb! Hollis said it required a sacrifice. A life in exchange for another. Thanos. He was holding the Eternity Forge when he fell. Yeah, real comforting. What was that? It's Hala. She's caught up to us. Everyone upstairs, we gotta move. I already died once today. I really don't want to try it again. Everyone, hold on. Things are gonna get a little bumpy. Yeah, that'll help. You just died. Are you sure you're okay with me? Uh, uh, easy, Quill. That answer your question? <laughs> Not really. I am. Root says he's gonna puke again. <laughs> We lost her. This hollow lady's relentless. Why'd she want this eternity thing so bad? She had many dead Kree on her ship. We found their stasis pods. Uh, okay. Uh, now I might puke. Save it for when we land, buddy. She could create an unlimited army of Kree soldiers. If this relic falls into Hollis' hands, that's bad news. For everybody. Agreed. Although I would relish in killing her bringing her back to life, and then killing her again. And then bringing her back to life, and then killing her again. And then bringing her back to life, and We then get it, Drax. <sighs> now that will be a fair fight. Yeah, this thing went so well last time. You know, I'm all for people having opinions, but sometimes Drax shouldn't be allowed to speak. <laughs> yes, Groot. Now is one of those times. And we can't risk her getting a hold of this relic. They parted for like five friggin' minutes? I mean, come on! No matter how far we run, Hollow will not stop hunting us. Milano can't take much more of this, Pete. I barely got her up and running after your last so called landing. If we don't find some place to lay low and fix our shit. Yeah, I'm on it. Look, I just need her to hold together for a little longer, Rocket. I might know someone who can help us out.
like being out in the open with Hala on our trail. Let me do the talking. Behind. My ship's busted, man. And you're the only guy who can fix it. <sighs> and this is why you never loan stuff to people. Haven't seen you since you left me in the ravages. Heard you got in bed with the Collector. Which is exactly why I can't trust you no more. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm proud of you for taking after me. Don't mean I want you hovering on my doorstep, bringing all kinds of trouble my way. I know what the Collector gets up to. Hey, you practically raised me, man. Look, my mom said you're responsible for whatever happens to me. The least you can do is let me in. The least I can do is nothing. Well, you better come on in then before someone sees you. Make yourself right at home? Oh! I thought it was just you, Quill, not all your little playmates. Hey, hey, no plants on the roof. I am Groot. That means you, Woodbeam. These guys are my family, Yondu. Great, okay, quick introductions then. This is Gamora. Say now. Nice to meet you. Put that away, or I'll cut it off. That's Groot. Drax, say hi. These are terrible. What do you think you're doing? That's my food. Mine! A warrior must eat. And last but not least, Rocket. R Rocket! I don't trust Ravagers, Quill. They'll shoot you in the back the first moment they get. Well, I don't trust animals that can talk. Wanna hear me talk? Okay. I'm gonna blow your friggin' head off. How's that for talking? Rocket, <laughs> we are guests inside Yandu's beautiful home. Please don't blow it and everyone inside of it to tiny little pieces. This place is already a garbage heap. A little kaboom would do it good. His face. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I've been buying black market trinkets off this little freak for years. And I've been gladly accepting this idiot's money. You got anything new for me? Oh, we got some. But it ain't for sale. Well, ain't she a beaut? Fit it right in with my collection. Could clear some space. One can never have too many trinkets and little doodads. Oh, oh, before you get too attached, you should know the Kree are after it. They're willing to kill for it, too. Oh, I was just having a bit of fun. Because I'd rather have the Kree after your hide than mine. Let me see that thing. Beautiful. Sometimes it takes stepping back from your problems to see how small they actually are. These last few months haven't been easy. For either of us. But, um... I'm not always gonna be here. I worry about you. You're growing up so fast. I know, Mom. I'll do better. I know you will. You're meant for more than this life, Peter. I know you are. You're gonna save the galaxy. You're gonna kill Thanos. And change everything. Wait! This... This isn't how it happened. You... You didn't say that before. Please, trust me, baby. I'm trying to help you. Hmm. Every time I look up there... I find something new. Something I overlooked. Come sit by me, baby. Hmm? You can see the stars even better from over here. 
Peter, please, just for a little bit. Yeah, of course, Mom. Just for a minute, though, okay? That's good. So, what am I supposed to be looking at? The stars. I know they don't look like much, but you keep staring and suddenly they come alive. You start filling in the space. I think that one is Canis Major? It's shaped like a dog. That's right. You wanted a pup so badly when you were younger. But you could never have one. Too much money. Closest thing you were ever gonna get was that constellation. You used to wish that dog sweet dreams every single night. That's, uh, that's Gemini, right? The twins? Yep. You used to say they were dancing together. Yeah. I thought it was you and, and Dad. You have one active imagination, Peter. <laughs> That's Orion. No doubt about it. It is indeed. First constellation you ever learned. That looks like the Eternity Forge. Sure does. Look closer. That writing. It wasn't there before. What... what does it say? Mom? Come find me, Peter. Guys. I don't think they can hear us. Did you just see what I saw? It's been decades since I've seen your mama's face. Now that was a special treat. Peter? Ever hit on my dead mom. I meant no disrespect toward you, Mom. We were friends. That's it. What just happened? I saw my mom. You heard her, right? She wants me to find her. Wait, look. Wait. I've seen glyphs like that before. It's ancient Cree. Stop eating already! God, I can't hear myself think. It's hardly ever used anymore. I haven't seen it in ages. Ugh, God, why does everything have to be Cree? You did find it in a Cree temple. Details, nah. I don't think it's a coincidence, though. Thanos was after something. An object with these same markings. Let me see that. Nebula and I stole it for him. I don't know what it does but my sister may have been able to learn something from it. If we can find Nebula, maybe she can help us translate this. Yeah, right before she cuts off all our heads and takes the forge for herself. And who do you think's the first guy she's gonna use it on? Counterpoint? You worry too much. We have to figure this out before Hala does. Are you hearing yourself? Every story you tell us about that robo-chick ends with somebody getting eviscerated. And that is something I'd like to avoid for the foreseeable future. Sounds like a happy family reunion. You two can talk and, uh... uh sharpen your knives. I, I don't know, I've never had a sister. Nope, sounds about right. 
I tried to get in contact with Nebula not long ago. She won't be hard to track down. Better let me have a look at your ship then. I may have something to fix that lying around. Move your foot. I am Groot. Somebody get this tree away from me. <sighs> Enough <sighs> with the snacks! Could you be any more useless right now? What's up, man? Is everything okay? Look, I'm no good at this, so I'm just gonna do it fast. I know we don't know a ton about the relic, but the one thing we do know is that it brought you back to life. Now don't tell me you ain't thought about how you can use that power. Well, if anything happened to you guys, I'd use it on you. The ultimate life insurance. Of course you would, because we're important to you. You don't know a lot about me. But before I met you guys, there was someone. She's gone now, but maybe with that relic I can make her... ungone. I just... I have to try. We gotta go to half more people. I know going after Nebula is the logical move here. I get it. You gotta find out why this thing's affecting you. But this favor... I gotta ask. I ain't told anybody about this before. Rocket. I wish we could, but... We need Nebula to translate the symbols on the relic. That's more important right now. Yeah, more important to you. That's what you meant to say. I didn't mean it like that. Well, that's how it's coming out of your stupid mouth. Whatever. Find my own way to get there. Rocket! Help me out with this, boy! Your friend over here keeps dropping it on my foot! It slipped. Oh. That little furball of yours give her a good rev to warm up the engines. Should be right to go. Rocket! What the? That's my ship! Rocket. He has the Eternity Forge. Mind telling me what's going on? Rocket wanted to go to Half-World to take care of something. I told him no. He doesn't do well with no. You best get your people in order, Quill. Peter, there's something you need to see. I found Nebula. She's taken Thanos' ship. She's heading towards the Collector's Museum on Nowhere. Peter, she's going after Thanos' body. I'm missing the part where you say why this is more important than getting my wings back. If I know my sister, she'll kill anyone who gets in her way. And once she has Thanos, if she goes off the grid again, I can't guarantee I'll be able to find her. Then we have to get to her before she gets away. We can't lose track of her again. We better hurry. What? You're gonna go chasing after some cyborg instead of getting my damn ship back? We need her to help us translate the Eternity Forge. Nebula isn't going to just wait for us to intercept her. I want my ship back, boy. Oh, your ship can wait, Yondu. Nebula is dangerous. We can't risk losing her. While that little pipsqueak cannibalizes parts off my engine? I don't think so. Translating the relic is our priority right now. We're going after Nebula. Whenever you're ready, we'll head out. You better owe me for this, boy. If that mangy little rodent messes up my ship, you'll be the one paying for it. Eh, 
Hey, how's my favorite tree? I am Groot. One of these days, you and I are going to be able to have a conversation. I am Groot. There's not a learn to speak Groot class I can take, is there? I am Groot. Well, this has been a lively and fascinating conversation. I am Groot. Hey, Gamora. Are you, uh... You okay? Hey, Peter. Yeah, I, I uh, just, um... A little nervous about seeing Nebula again, I guess. Our last conversation didn't go well. I just hope we can still catch her. Before she does something incredibly stupid. Don't worry. We're gonna catch her. I hope you're right. <sighs> and I hope she doesn't cause too much destruction before we do. I'm worried about Rocket. I mean, he was already on edge. Now he's run off with the Yondu ship and the Eternity Forge. <sighs> Rocket's always had a temper. We shouldn't really be surprised anymore. I'll talk to you later. I'll be here. You better hope nothing happens to my ship, boy. Or I'll be skinning your furry friend alive. And I'm keeping an eye on you till then. Hey, Drax. You doing all right? I could not protect you, Peter Quill. As hard as I tried, you were still killed by Hala. When Thanos was alive, I was a warrior with a singular purpose. But now... I am useless. The others have made that very obvious to me. I could not save you from Hala. And now that Thanos is gone, you no longer need me. Oh, don't say that. I still want you around, Drax. Thank you, Quill. I hope I do not squander your companionship. Clearly my skills, they are no longer as helpful as I had hoped. You should try talking to the others. You know, maybe they can teach you something new, help you find a... a new purpose. Who would you suggest? <sighs> I don't know. I do not think any of them would want to. Go talk to Gamora. She'll teach you to focus. And she's no stranger to the whole changing your purpose abruptly thing. Yes. His focus would be good. I will speak with her. I should get going. Star-Lord. You still seem troubled by the visions of your mother. I am here to comfort you about such matters. Unless you do not wish to speak of it. Honestly? I'm freaking out. These visions, they... They're real. Visions cannot be real. Peter Quill. That is why they are visions. If I could see visions, I would be concerned as well, but not agitated as you are. Uh, okay. Agitation is for the weak. Good to know. Thanks for the pep talk, Drax. Really great. You are welcome, friend. Hey, everybody to the bridge. We're going to the Collector's Museum to intercept Nebula. You better get my ship back soon. Hala has found us. And this is what we call great timing. Please, please don't... <laughs> oh, I thought you were... <clears throat> I was 
terribly unkind of you. Oh, thank you for warning me. I barely got out in time. You have to stop her. If the Collector finds out... No. Happy thoughts. He won't find out because you are going to go in there and fix this and everything is going to be wonderful and nobody will get tortured. <sighs> okay. Private Gallery is priceless. Don't break anything. Okay. If we want the forge translated, we need to get Nebula on the Milano no matter what. We have to talk her down. If this turns into a fight, it's going to get ugly. Nebula! I thought I made it clear when you called. Stay away from me. There's nothing left to say. Nebula, please stop. Let's talk. I'm done talking. Look at him. Look what your pathetic Star-Lord did. He was all I had. And you took him from me! daughter and now I will never hear I have nothing we are not beholden to him anymore Nebula come with us we can fix this animosity between us we can be sisters again I want to be sisters again I don't believe you 
It's still the truth. Let's start over, okay? We're not your enemies. We don't have to be on opposite sides anymore. Get her up. Sorry about the mess. When I get out of these chains! <laughs> yeah, I don't see that happening anytime soon. Uh. We got her. Yeah, we did! Let her sit in there for a little while. We can get her to talk after she cools down for a bit. Now! Can we get my ship back from that furball friend of yours? We'll need the relic so Nebula can translate it. Yeah, we're going after Rocket. Just hope he's still there. Better not erect my ship. Hey, Drax. Hello, Quill. How's our new friend? You use the term friend far too loosely. The cyborg is very quiet, but do not worry. She is secure. Uh, Peter. What's up? I know this hasn't been easy for you. What with Nebula and Rocket, the Eternity Forge, you dying and coming back to life. I just... You know you can talk to me, right? If anything's bothering you. I... I know this is all, um... <clears throat> well, I know it's a lot. Honestly, I'm more worried for everyone else. I mean, Rocket... You... Rocket and I will sort out our differences later. We always do. Please don't brush this off. You don't need to bottle everything up. I hope you know that I'm always here for you. No matter what. Heads up, everyone. We're going after Rocket. Finally! Rocket. Rocket, let me... Let me help you. You had your chance! Just back off! Subject seems to be responding well to the program. Vital signs are good. Still no rejection of the artificial vertebrae or neural implants. The only one who wasn't a total failure. Everything rests on you, my little friend. Rocket. You okay? I heard you screaming in there. These walls aren't exactly soundproof. Not 
that he cares. That guy. Ugh, I just want to bite him in his stupid little face. Try that once. It did not end well. Tasted terrible, too. So, did you get it? You mean this? <laughs> Wait, it's the right one, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Once that computer's finished, we can finally break out of here. Advanced security. Supposedly unhackable blast doors. Piece of cake, right? You sound worried. Hey, you can do this. Just stick to the plan. It's gonna work. Just take a deep breath, okay? We've got work to do. Catch! Nice. You're making this look way too easy. Power source. Designed by yours truly. Okay. Moment of truth. Go ahead and hook it up to the underside. Ah! Ugh, stupid piece of junk. You know your ear twitches when you're frustrated, right? It's cute. Oh yeah? You're cute. I meant that as an insult. I'm so offended. Why do you keep doing that with your face? It's called smiling. You should try it sometime. Happy? <laughs> now, all I need is a display and we're in business. Sink it to the facilities network. I keep having that dream. Still? I'm outside again, in the fresh air somewhere. It's warm, bright. Can't hear a thing except the river rushing by. It felt so real. I can barely remember. It's been so long. But in this dream, I don't know. I'm almost there. Lila, there's something you should see. They're gonna put you down. No. I won't let them. We have to get these cages open. There should be a hallway just outside that door. From there, we make a break for the main entrance. When I get out, I'm gonna find that place. And I want you to come with me. We'll find the river. I know it's gotta be out there. Will you come with me? I'm going wherever you're going, lady. We'll find home somewhere. Hide it, quick! Subject 89P14. Still no progress. <sighs> Begin prepping lethal injection. Rocket? I can't. I can't lose you. You got claws, don't you? Well, that idiot thinks we're nothing but a bunch of animals. Let's show him how right he can be. 
Rocket, I... Lila! Lila! Gotta move. We're so close. You have to make it, Rocket. There you are. Yeah. Kill them. I'll create a distraction. Buy you time to get out. I can still cause a little chaos before it kicks in for good. I might as well try to take a few of them down with me, right? You go, Rocket. They'll be sorry for what they did to us. No, no, you're not dying. I won't let this happen. Please, don't make this any worse than it has to be. Survive, Rocket. You can't do that carrying me. Come on. We're getting out of here. Both of us. Rocket, please. I've got you. What just... You had no right to see that. Those are my memories. Not yours. Least you could do is say something.
Guess you're happy, huh? It didn't even work. Come on. How could you think I would be happy about this? I didn't want you hurt. I just didn't want to help me. Just take it. It's what you came for anyway. Still hope, Rocket. We'll find a way to bring her back. I don't want to talk about it. No, 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 no. Come on. Please don't do this. I gotta go. She's been doing that since you left. We're running a scan of her cybernetics, but it's taking some extra time. Just to be safe. We need to get Nebula to help us decipher these symbols. Just watch yourself, Peter. She's not exactly happy to be here. Okay, she's definitely not happy to be here. Yeah, I don't really blame her. Her dad's dead, we beat her up, and then she gets locked in her sister's room. She's not having the best couple of days. It is what she deserves for serving Thanos. Rocket may be able to get her arm working again. We could use it as leverage. <laughs> Don't bother. We are going to dismantle this cyborg piece by piece. Fear won't work on someone like Nebula. You'll just rile her up. <laughs> good. Not good. She was trained to slaughter thousands. She may hate you, but she does not fear you. She will learn. <laughs> oh, if you say so. I do. Glad you are seeing things my way. I know you're good at knives, but trust me, you attract more flies with honey. What would you want with flies? That's not the point. Flies are a nuisance. You okay to go in there? Frankly, no. I'm not okay. I wanted to reconnect with Nebula. You told me to reconnect with her. And then this happens. Maybe she'll come around someday, but... I can't see her wanting to reconcile anytime soon. Hey, Nebula. Neb. Can I call you Neb? <laughs> Oh, oh, hey, 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 you mind not inviting me? I just want to talk like two civilized people. Can we do that? That's really up to you, isn't it? Thanos wanted this relic. And I know he had you learn how to read these glyphs. That, that's the Eternity Forge. You've heard of it? How did you make those runes appear? I thought it didn't work. I don't know. That's what you're here for. Oh, really? I need you to help me translate them. That's not gonna happen. You think I'd so easily betray my father? We are not all so spineless. Okay. What if I sweeten the deal? Look, you help me with this one teensy tiny little thing and I will let Rocket reattach your arm. I know you have no intention of helping me. She wants to see me suffer. Killing our father wasn't enough for you. You have to rub it in my face, too. He raised you, Gamora. He loved you. 
That was not love, Nebula. And you let this imbecile murder him! You are the reason he's gone. You're the one who ruined my life. Whoa, this is a happy place. There's no need for that kind of name calling. I mean, really, imbecile? Oh, sorry I hurt your delicate little feelings. That's enough, Nebula! You pass judgment on me, on my father, but I know you, Gamora. You may have forgotten Tarval, but I haven't. I'm warning you never, never to speak the name. Tarval, Tarval! I'll get what we need from you, one way or another. You want me to talk? Get rid of her! Don't be ridiculous, Nebula. I have nothing to say to you. I'll make you talk. You know I can. I'd like to see you try. Gamora? You need to leave. What? Now. If I hear screams, I'm not helping you. She never cared about us. The minute things get difficult, she'll be gone. You'll see. So, what's the deal with Tarval? It's not my story to tell. If you're so eager to know, you should ask Gamora. Star-Lord, the scan found something. A strange device in the cyborg's skull. These past few days... They've been the worst of my life. I lose my father. Then you show up and capture me and I'm forced to relive everything. Just leave me alone. I'm not trying to hurt you, Nebula. Doesn't matter, does it? You still did. But maybe there's a way to fix that. Oh, God! No! What are you- what are you doing? I know you won't take my word for it. So here, it'll tell you what you need to know. You owe me. Thanks, Nebula. Almost. I told myself I wasn't going to be that person anymore. She just gets under my skin. I can't help it. You two clearly have some issues you need to work out. I'll try. Maybe without weapons this time. I see you tried my plan. <sighs> the important thing is we got the, uh, the Kree thingy. So... That is a cipher module. There are not many left in existence. All right, so how does this work? I think I can upload this to my own translator. Okay, it says... Come find me in the temple. Helpful. <sighs> Didn't we find it in a temple? My mom said the same thing when I... died. But maybe we missed something. We were a little preoccupied at the time. Come find me. <sighs> Who do you think me is? That temple was completely abandoned when we showed up. Except for all the dead Nova Corps bodies that Thanos put there. It's gotta be whatever is sending me these visions. I hope you're right. Then we can find out why you're having them in the first place. Exactly. Let's get moving. We're going back to the temple. We're almost there. I have not seen him emerge. Hang on, I'll call him. Hey, Rocket? We need you up here. I think you can handle a freaking temple without me. I guess he doesn't want to talk. Well, Rocket is in no shape to guard Nebula. Someone's got to stay back and keep an eye on her. I will stay behind. Guard the prisoner. Um, hang on. No, you won't. 
Drax is good at a lot of things, but guarding people is not one of them. You took him to Hala's ship, and he let you die. His health has improved greatly since then. You heard him before. He wants to rip her apart. I did say that. Well, what about Groot then? Oh, forget about Groot. I should be the one to guard Nebula. She's my sister. No, it should be me. I have twice as many blades as you. He let Hala stab you, Peter. Right in the chest. No offense, Drax, but I'm the right person to guard my sister. Nebula is my responsibility. Your record on that matter is questionable. Gamora, you should stay behind and keep an eye on Nebula. Maybe it'll give you a chance to talk. Thank you, Peter. <sighs> you are both foolish. Let us return to the temple. I will be ready when you are. Find out who's waiting for us. I, uh... <laughs> I forgot how slow this elevator was. I do not like being back in this wretched place. Well, this ain't a field trip, Drax. The markings on the forge said, Find me in the temple, so... Here we are, in a temple, again. Hello? Anyone here? Yes, I am here, as is Groot. But I should be guarding Nebula on the ship. We've been over this, Drax. So, why don't we just spread out? We look for secret doors or passages or whatever. I've got my scanner. If anyone's here, we'll find them. she doing here? Star-Lord! It's Hala! Oh my god! Oh god! Why? I saved you. That was a hologram, you big dope! Look! Where did they go? They went up. Quill, I apologize for my outburst on the ship. However, I should have been the one to guard the cyborg instead of Gamora. Gamora has too much of an attachment to her sister. She might let her feelings get in the way. Gamora needs this time with Nebula. They have a lot to talk about. Mm, perhaps. But I still do not trust the cyborg. She has much wickedness in her circuitry. Hey. You're not still upset about me choosing Gamora to guard Nebula, are you? You have explained your reasons to me, and I will accept that. That is enough. Okay, good. I think. Let's not forget why we're here. Have you found anyone yet? No, but I have seen fresh footprints in the dust. Yeah, I've seen them too. Let me know if you notice anything else. It's weird being back in this place again. Kind of gives me the creeps. This place. I cannot help but think of my family and how the vengeance I strived after, it ended in this room. Let's get back to it. Looks like some kind of button. Okay, so much for that. A 
Whatever they're doing looks like they're doing it at the same time. Hey, Drax, you see that statue? Press the button on his helmet when I say so, okay? You okay? Okay. One, two, three. What happened? You went early. No, I didn't. One, two, three, go. I was waiting for the go. Oh, fine. One, two, three, go. And it's Christmas. Check this out. That definitely looks like the Eternity Forge. And those souls are being absorbed by it. That's why it didn't work for Rocket. It wasn't charged. This actually mean anything to you? Hmm. No. But I like the skeletons. Look at this. And here is where Hala failed. No Eternity Forge, no prize. Here goes nothing. Whoa. What does it say? Hang on. Let's see if Nebula's Cypher was worth all the trouble. The Eternity Forge resides here, pending such time as it can be wielded responsibly. Until then, she shall remain entombed across the galaxy. Huh. So, this is not the correct temple. We came here for nothing. Hang on a second, there's more. It says... Emnios? The temple we're looking for is on a place called... Emnios. The symbols are a star man. <laughs> I know how to get there! Gamora! Peter! Whoever we're looking for isn't here, but we figured out where to find him. Get those engines fired up. We're going for a ride. Um, about that. Rocket's down in the engine room. He's, uh, yelling some new and creative curse words. Yeah, you might want to talk to him. I know you miss Lila. That's okay. <laughs> I don't... I don't... <laughs> hey, 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 what's, what's going on? Talk to me. I didn't, uh, didn't want you to, uh, to see. She's gone. She was the only thing keeping me alive. And I couldn't save her. She protected me. And I couldn't, I couldn't help her. I know, Rocket. I saw what happened. She didn't deserve to die like that. I thought if I could just get her out of there, if she could just see it. This is all I have left of her. This stupid computer. I can't do this without her, Pete. I thought I could, but I can't. 
I can't. That's why I'm gonna help you. And you're gonna get through this. I can't lose her again. I can't fix it this time. There's nothing left. I, I still can't. I don't want to give her up. That's all I got. You should hold on to it, Rocket. It means a lot to you. <laughs> What's going on? Get the Eternity Forge, keep it safe. Go help Rocket. What are you gonna do? Inviting you two. Not fair. How about some fresh air? Oh, that's right. There's no air in space. Oops. Let me fight! You trapped me on this piece of junk and now we're surrounded by pissed off Kree! I don't want to die here and neither do you! If you keep me here, they'll kill you, your friends, and then they'll come for me too. Let me out! Without me, you're just gonna get us all killed! Okay, but one move against my crew. Any of them gets hurt, and this little trust exercise is over. Do you understand? I understand. Heads up! These are some invisible enemies. Cowards! You okay? Tracks! Not okay. Hurry! Gamora! I should have guessed Nebula wouldn't pass up the chance to fight. Well, someone on this ship has to keep you all alive. Here! This one's yours! <sighs> Almost like old times, isn't it? <sighs> Never gets any easier. Ah! We've got to move. Now! <sighs> Couldn't have said it better myself. And that is the engine room. Rocket! Nebula and I will keep the bridge secure. Just get the power back on. I am Root. Right. Engine room. Rocket! Ah! 
You think you could possibly win against the Kree? Now that I've obtained the Eternity Forge for Hala. Ah, oh, stop, dude. Just... Just stop. I really don't care. How dare you speak to me like that? How dare I? <laughs> you come onto my ship, you bust up my team, and then you go about spouting your evil plan like a bad monster movie? Hold your tongue! Hala will! Well, Hala can kiss my beautiful Earth Ooh. ass! What's it like being on fire? Ah! That bad, huh? <laughs> Stupid. You must think you're clever, Peter Quill, but you can't run forever. The forge will be mine. Do not be foolish. Its purpose is much greater than this. I don't know, I run pretty fast. I think I'll take my chances. I've given you many, and you have wasted each one. <sighs> Peter, you better get the engines running. The Revenant's weapons are coming online. Rocket, I'm on it. Gamora, set a course for Emneos. Drop off our stowaways on the way there. Even if she is, why, why do you care? I care about you, Peter. I know what she means to you. So, if you can bring her back, what then? Are you still going to be doing this? The Guardians? Oh, come on, I wouldn't do that to you guys. The Guardians stick together, no matter what. Well, you two will be sharing a room then. Unless she'd prefer bunking by the engines. This is it. So, what now? I'm sure Peter has a plan. You do have a plan, right? Nope. We're gonna wing it. Good enough for me.
never stopped. We were at each other's throats over it. I am Groot. I am Groot. I am Groot! You ever play that game, Monkey in the Middle? No? Well, here's the thing. There's a bunch of jerks. They stand in a circle. They toss a ball around. And some poor turd in the middle tries to catch the ball. That turd, that's the monkey. And I... <laughs> Man. I was that turd. Well, Quill is... I mean, let's face it, he's kind of the worst person in the whole galaxy. I started thinking about leaving again. Oh, yeah. I threaten that all the time. But this time, I meant it. I don't think I was really prepared for what we found on Emios. Oh, Peter was definitely not prepared. At all. You don't look surprised. Oh, after Ray Jack, I didn't see him again for a long time. Any of them. Worried. Hell, I've never been happier in my life. Quill, all of them, they fell into a dark hole. Real dark. Real, real dark. All that ancient stuff we found? Guess what? It wasn't meant to be found. Honestly, why didn't they just bury it? You know, why'd they leave all these clues and crap? Just hide it better. So dumb. I mean, Hala, I mean, she might have. Who knows? Then again, maybe she would have stopped if it wasn't for us. I felt like Nebula was coming around. I don't know. Certainly she was just as angry as she always was. For a little while, I thought it could be just like it was before. Before Tarval. Real, real. Real dark. Real, 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 real. And when we finally found her, I... I couldn't make sense of it. None of us could. And what she showed us... Oh, yeah, the second it was out of her mouth, I knew. I mean, you get a chance like that. So much power in your hands. What would you do if you had to make that same choice? No one should ever have that much power. Ever. Everybody looking at you? You know the thing about responsibility? It sucks. Like a lot. Real, real, real dark. Dark, man. You know? Still fun, though.